Mr. Arsement. <laughs> yeah, it's me. What's up, man? Ah, what you up to today? Ah, uh, you know, same old, same old. Mission of a Respawn director video and blah blah blah. Getting the Moabs. <laughs> Have you ever actually posted a Xbox game? Um, not yet, but uh, I feel like I'm gonna do that soon here once my new capture card gets in. I was just wondering because you said I've seen a video the other day where you said you played hours and hours and hours of Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox. Oh yeah, dude, that game. Ah, oh, back on the Xbox is so much fun. Yeah, I guess you enjoy getting blown up. Yeah, <laughs> I love getting the nukes, man. There's just oh, there's so much fun and like all the maps in Modern Warfare 2 and the DLCs. They were just so much fun. Oh, I love that game to death. Oh, I got discounted new to myself. Yeah, that uh, that happened to me the other day. I got on a 24 gun streak in Modern Warfare 2 to get blown up by a noob tube. Was the noob tube a big problem in the PC? It's it's not that, that big of a deal. The thing that's a big deal on PC is that I literally spend like 10 minutes trying to find a non-hacked lobby. And if oh. I can actually find that, then there's usually some other guy that just has like aimbot or wall hacks. And there's only like 800 people playing Domination at once. It's so hard to find a good lobby. I see. I, I run into the same. That's actually the reason it put, took me off PC. Like, um, I played Call of Duty Four for the first time when I first got a PS3, and when Modern War, when World of War came out, because I got, I got a Call of Duty right at the end of COD Four, and World of War was just about to come out. I'm like, well, I'm gonna buy this on PC, and I decided not to because I heard of the hacked lobbies on the on the on the on the PC, and I'm like, I don't want to like not go through the prestiges because somebody decides to bump me up to max level. Yeah, like, I haven't actually... I never played World of War on PC. I actually got it for Xbox, too. Um, I never ran into those issues, though, after I got it on PC. And Call of Duty 4, I never found any, like, hacked lobbies since they're all dedicated servers. Punkbuster did, like, such a good job of banning all the idiot hackers and modders that you really never ran into that issue on COD 4. But... I could see it probably happening in World of War. They didn't put too much effort into making that game secure. Dude, hackers are horrible. Like I got, uh, I, I'm playing uh, World of War on uh, PS3 earlier, and it, it, <laughs> and basically I got into like a lobby where it made me the hack guy. And it's <laughs> like you are on a human torch. Press R1 to shoot flames. I'm like, yeah, it's I don't ridiculous. Do this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to just shoot people like normal. Like I did that the other day. I tried to going to World of War lobby on Xbox and it's like every time you get in a lobby it's like they got like invulnerability or they got like infinite dogs or something like that it's like ugh this is so dumb it's like man you're a super beast how did you go 35-0 and 0? <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> I'd be like I shot this guy with a whole clip with my MP40 I know he should die get oh you an MP40 scrub <laughs> sometimes yeah when I'm going up against hackers you betcha oh, shoot ain't no, really nothing you could do besides hide I know, seriously, I'd be like, get on my streaks and then get this, like, god mode guy comes, the only thing you do is run away. The best thing about though, the the hackers, though, is when you actually beat one of them in a TDM setting. Like, he, he can't die, he can run around the map freely, or fly around the map. Yeah, no clue. And you can still beat them from time to time. Like, how bad are you? Oh, I know, it, it just puts such a... I, I just imagine, like, those hackers that I play against, like, they just gotta feel so bad. That they can't win with hacks. Of course, a lot of the times they do because there's not much you could do. But sometimes you do get lucky enough to where their teammates are just so bad you can just feed off them. Do you play on a personal desktop or a laptop? Um, I actually play on both. My first Moab ever was on the laptop, believe it or not. But um, I play basically most of the time on my desktop just because it's uh, it's a lot, I guess, smoother, so to say. It probably has a lot more power. <laughs> yeah, definitely a lot more power. Plus, I got this 24-inch uh, 120Hz monitor. And oh my gosh, it makes so it makes a huge difference in my gaming. It's insane. Here's the thing I've ran into. I, I have a 24 inch HP monitor, which is not a gaming monitor. It's old as the fucking hills. And I have a, a Samsung um, tw- 20. I think they call HP 25 HDs, which is a gaming monitor. And it's is like, it 120 hertz? Uh, I don't know. I paid like 600 bucks for it, and it's like 25 inches. Jeez. Uh, but uh, I, I, I bought it specifically to game on, and I couldn't do it on the console. I just couldn't do it. Like It was like it blew my mind to look at such a small screen. But if I come <laughs> over to the PC where I'm sitting in front of it, the screen doesn't bother me. Do you ever hit, actually have that effect? Like what do, um, you, what do you play on your console when you actually jump on Xbox? 
Well, I actually do. I used to play on like a smaller TV, like 27 inches, but not because it was like one of those gigantic CRT monitors. Um, but I actually bought a 42 inch, or no, what is it, 37 inch, and that's what I've been playing on basically. That's what I played Marfa 2 on and everything, and I like it because I can get up and close to it. But I'd have to say that if I could hook up my Xbox to my 24 inch BenQ, I would, I think that'd be a lot better just because it feels like you're, you, you can react quicker, I guess. I don't know. You know, you can buy monitors with component. Yeah, mine actually does have, it doesn't have component, but it has HDMI. The only thing is, I can't stream and play at the same time, which is kind of a big deal, so that's why I had to get a new capture card. Oh. So that'll be fixed soon, thankfully, and then I'll probably be playing a lot more, uh, I'll be playing a lot more Xbox then. So, the reason I asked you earlier about uh, having having your uh, Modern Warfare 3 footage on Xbox, I, I want to see the difference, like it, because... To me, I don't feel like I could be as fluent as you play on Xbox. Yeah. Like, that's that's the same thing for me. Like, even though I was really good on Xbox, like, you kind of have to devote... You have to devote, like, your skill to one system. You can't just, like, be the best at Xbox and be the best at PC. It's just not going to happen. But you could still be... It's like It's like having one super good player on PC and then, like, one super good player on Xbox, and then you, like, switch them. Like, they're not going to be good immediately, but if you give them, like, let's say a week, I'm sure that they'd, like, adapt to it a lot quicker than, like, a new player. You know what I've actually found myself doing with Call of Duty? You probably don't have this problem yet. I've been doing this for so long that I've I've lost, like, the desire to be good at games. Have you ever (laughs) kind of felt like that? Like, like, when I I first started doing this, the only goal I had in life was to be as best as I possibly could be at this video game. You know, I would think about where my back was at all times. I'd have my headset cranked up. I'd have nothing else going on in the room. I'd have to make sure my eyes were at the exact level they needed to be at the TV. And now, I watch Netflix without a headset on when I play. (laughs) (laughs) I can't blame you. I mean, it does get boring. Like, that's the sad thing. I saw that Fix COD 4 or 5 video. And I was like, you know, that's a really good cause because those games are awesome, but it's never going to happen, you yeah, know? Yeah, because it takes it takes like $20,000 to patch a game. Yeah, and not only that, but, like, they need... And that's for console, too. It's actually not that bad for PC, but, like, they just need... That's per know, console, though. Yeah, exactly, which is a lot of money. Yeah, I, I don't gonna blame them. They're not going to make that much money off World at War. There's probably no. not $40,000 left in that fran- in, in Call of Duty World at War. I doubt it. I mean, it's not like we're talking about Blizzard here. Ah, uh, no, Blizzard, uh, I love Blizzard. They're such a good game developing company. Dude, they always They listen. patch games that are like six years old. Yeah, they patch, they, they freaking patch in StarCraft 1 still. <laughs> I love that game. I remember Diablo 3 was like three and a half years old, and then they put out the biggest patch I've ever seen in a video game history, which changed the entire game. It brought it see? back to life. I had no idea. See, that's what they could do for Call of Duty, but they're way too lazy, and they have the money to do it too, but like, oh. the thing is, we just gotta like. I feel like they're never gonna make another good Call of Duty, so you're just gonna have to find new developers. You know. Well, I think Treyarch makes a pretty good Call of Duty, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean they make good Call of Duty. Like Black Ops wasn't bad, but it wasn't my favorite. I don't know. It's like it's kind of every gun was the same. Like I felt like if I used an AK and then I used the Galil, there's like no difference except for the sound effects. There wasn't no difference. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's why I didn't like because it was I like the same the, gun but different skins. Exactly. I just I like the but fact to be that on the fair side. But to be on the fair side, that's how you create gun balance. Yeah, I mean, like gun balance is good, but I don't like, know. For example, like Modern Warfare Three, for example, MP7 reigns fucking supreme. ACR reigns fucking supreme. If you go up against exactly. the ACR with like the AK-47, you're at a disadvantage, a severe disadvantage. Yeah, and but that, that's kind of like sucky. But I don't know. I just I kind of like Would the fact you, that there's better guns. MP5K. Well, MP5 versus MP7? I mean, yeah, it's, there's uh, a huge difficult. difference there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's a big difference, but I don't know. I just didn't like the fact that it's like I could use any assault rifle and it'd be using the same one. Because sometimes I like using underpowered guns just to have fun with them. Yeah, there's the infield. Infield kind of sucked ass, but it had yeah, its own infield. perks. Yeah, that's true. I like the infield. I use a silencer on that gun. I want hand mode on them. But I liked Black Ops, and I liked World at War. I didn't like COD 4, I didn't really like Modern Warfare 2, and I hate Modern Warfare 3. You didn't like COD 4? Are you kidding me? I didn't really play it much, but every time I played it, it was toward the end of it, where everybody was like getting oh. out of the maps and ambush and 
Three Frags was rampant, and <laughs> you know it was all the sniping shit, people twirling yeah. around in mess. I'm like, this is gay. Have you ever played <laughs> PC Pro Mod? No, I, I quit playing PC and um, after Battlefield Night 2142. I love that game. 2142 was boss. That's the that's the last PC shooter I've actually played. Well, actually, ba- I, I bought Bad Company too. Because uh, John asked me to buy it, and I only played like 15 games of that. Oh, John right. Fat Cock? Huh? John Fat Cock? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I like, like, Bad Company 2 wasn't bad. It just wasn't, I don't know, it, was, it wasn't the same as 2142. Like, 2142 was just so cool because of, like, the 64-player servers, and you could, like, you know, rocket I, I sniped ship all yourself. the record times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole time. Everybody starts out sniping awesome. when they fucking start FPS. Oh, yeah. Exactly, and I like that, but I don't know. You gotta play COD 4 Pro Mod, or like try to get on PC. It's just, it's so much fun. Like after you play Modern for three, it's like like the whole time you're playing it, you're just like, you're wearing like a weights on your shoulder. Then when you play COD 4, it's like nothing but a smile on your face well, the whole it, time. That's because I had a theory on that because I noticed that it feels like you're running around with weights. That's why a lot of people use specialists because you get that little lightweight put in there with it. But um, yeah, dude. All the other COD games run faster. And it's like, did they they initially, like, lower the run speed just to put a fucking perk in the game? That's fucking ass. ass. Yeah, I think they did. I don't know. People always say, like, on PC I'm running, like, three times faster, which is ridiculous. I get the same run speed. But I do notice that, like, if I'm not using Extreme Condition or Specialist or something. to be perfectly fair, you're almost always on Special Mod on your videos. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, pretty much that's true. I, it's so I don't know. Specialist bonus is just that game is just so easy. Well, specialist uh, bonus with a submachine gun, you're like fucking, you're like the oh, powerful yeah. Mach Five up there. <laughs> I know you run so quick. It's like it, you just you can dance around circles with people with assaults and LMGs. It's ridiculous. Like they need to. They're not, of course, they're not going to do anything about it though. I mean, we still haven't Dude, even got an FMG Nine. Patch. I was actually surprised when Treyarch started patching Black Ops because I remember fighting with them tooth and nail about patching the MP40 when World at War was popular. I know they patched it on PC. I know they did. Yeah. But they didn't patch it, it on the consoles at all. <laughs> and that thing was a yeah. that thing was a two shot kill with jug on. Oh, uh, I know. And then you could have the uh, the what is it the round mag or whatever. The dual you mag. Could... And I was like, why don't you give dual mag the fucking like the LMGs? Why is why is the fucking submachine guns have more rounds than the fucking MG42? Oh, I know. And like at the PPSH. Oh my gosh, round drum mag rounds. on that thing. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. It's like, I love that gun though. But I like World of War. Here's the reason I like World of War. Obviously, they have the MP40 problem. Obviously. Yeah. But the fact is, every gun had its purpose. Like the machine guns, they were like they were like a rifles with sway, but it had lots of penetration and lots of power. Exactly. Rifles it had felt like no caught recoil, one. but very small magazines. Some machine guns had to run around spray ability, but they sucked long range. Yeah, I like I like World of War because it brought back the aspect of Call of Duty One and Call of Duty Two with the rifles. Because I mean, they brought back the Moisen, and uh, I don't think I don't know if they had the car in that game, but you could get like a one shot rifle kill, which is I don't know, it, it's awesome. Maybe maybe I'm speaking for a lot of people. Here's what I've always hoped to see for gameplay from you, like no scope bolt action for World at War. Really? Yeah. I should do that. You know, just you take should, the I, scope off and uh, just run around. And no scope people. <laughs> well, well, just you know, you name down sight and stuff, but just like pow, you know, one shot them. <laughs> just not use the actual rifle scope. Just like use it like as a like a like a regular single shot rifle. Yeah, I, I I should definitely do that. I mean, I don't know if you have ever seen COD One gameplay or COD Two, but COD there was one, a mod. COD One was it multiplayer? Yeah, but it was for P- oh for PC it was actually very. It's like it more only came out on PC, didn't it? Before. Yeah, it did. It was only on PC. That's where Call of Duty started. And that game, in my opinion, is the And I could go back to it right now and just play it and just have so much fun. Like, they had a rifles-only mod, and so you could only have, you know, one, you know, rifle, that's it. You didn't get a secondary or anything. And I don't know, there's just something about the skill of a one-shot rifle. It is just so much fun. Dude, I remember I remember those fucking sniper lobbies and fucking COD Four. What was that one map? <laughs> Showdown. You'd have like four, oh, yeah, God. three people of the six on the team just shooting at each other through that tunnel. Like, oh my god, I, triple! Yeah, triple. Like those COD Four is so easy to get like four plus feeds with a sniper. It's like ah, eh, another four feed, no big deal. Well, the sniper Move was actually the really one. strong in COD Four because the hit detection sucks so much ass. 
Yeah, and the thing is, you could get ah, people lined up in that game for you. It seemed like almost. Oh, yeah. and, like I like COD Four, but I don't even remember the stock maps. I've been playing Pro Mod too much. Like, there's only like five maps you play on Pro Mod. You basically don't play any other maps. Well, in COD Four, all you used to do is run around with a light machine gun with jug. That very that, that's a, that generic one. Every time the snipers come out, be like, oh, it's time to go with the M two four nine. You're such a noob. <laughs> Well, they, they, I shoot never with a, they shoot me with a fucking MP40, with their fucking M40, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to make it so you can't one-shot me, huh? Oh, that's ridiculous. I, would, I, know, I felt like I felt so guilty and dirty if I used Juggernaut, so I just ran around with, uh, let's see, what I use? I, I think I went around the 74U in stopping power like a noob and just raped everybody. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm all about some fucking Jug. Always have dude. been. I, d- I don't, like, deny that that is, like, one of the f- best perks. It is so much fun to use, though. Like, when I did use it, it's it's so funny because you can troll people. Yeah, but, well, if you have a better shot, Jug is the better perk. Yeah, definitely, because, I mean, they can... It takes some, like, an extra shot or two to kill you, but it only takes you, like, one extra shot to kill them. And most of the time, you always get the jump on people anyway, so that fir- that, that extra shot just puts you on the fair, fair playing field. Now they have to shoot you an extra time. Exactly. I like Juggernaut. I don't even know why they took it out of the game, to be honest. The same reason they take Painkill out of the game. Same re- I noticed on one of your videos you had a, where you got noob tubed at the end of it. You talked about how you like grassy maps. People hate grassy yeah. maps because people can't stand the fact that some people might use a stealth-based tactic. Yeah, exactly. I, that's what I loved about Overgrown in COD 4 is that I could go in the little you know grass spots and like prone ninja defuse or just like play sneaky, you know? Yeah, people hate that stealth aspect. They want everything running gun. I'm like, why don't you play fucking Halo then? Halo is nothing but running gun. There, exactly, it's just gun on gun. There's no hiding in Halo. <laughs> no, there is not. It's, it's all about who has the better shot. That's uh, yeah, and I don't know what they took out. Like I don't know if you played Downpour also in COD Four. That map was awesome. Downpour, yeah, it was yeah. like the super rainy one. Yeah, that was like awesome. There's so much like grass and stuff where you could hide, and it's not about camping. It's just about being sneaky. And if you had an SMG, you could easily go just find those yeah, snipers MP, if you had an MP5 iPhone. with a silencer, just pop, 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 kill two people and move. <laughs> I love the MP5. That, that that gun was so much fun. Everything about COD Four was just fun but kind of, and then like the mp5 kind of shows you how fucking overpowering the weapons in Modern warfare 3 are though like mp5 or cod 4 i got on it the other day is the same as it is on modern warfare 3 it's almost the same exact gun but in, in call of duty 4 the rifle's hit detection was so shitty the mp5 reigned supreme because they had that spray ability but now yeah. since the hit detection is a little bit better dude the mp5 gets shit on <laughs> Oh, I know. And it's not only that, but, like, the recoil on it is terrible. It was terrible in Modern Warfare 4. Yeah, but it's even, like, I don't know. They think they just completely hated on all the guns that we used to love. Like, why would they take the 74U out of the game? That's what I'm mad about. They put it in the single player. I love player. the 74U. Yeah, exactly. Why would they put it in the single? I don't ever play the single player. <laughs> they gave you the, the dragon off back, so nobody fucking uses. I I used it only once, and then I was like, oh, I'm done oh, with yeah. it now. <laughs> I'm sure you got plenty of use out of that dragon off rifle. It, yeah, I don't know. They they just I feel like they they don't know what to do anymore. I feel like they're stuck out of ideas or something. Why do they keep putting the same guns back in the game over and over again? Yeah, that's what I don't understand either. Like they put what like one the Type 95 that relabeled it. The yeah. FAMAS is the Type 95. Yeah, they, they just switched it around. Like I I, I sit there talk to Kyle about this a lot. And like, I wonder what the fuck they did in Modern Warfare 3. They made the maps. They reskinned the guns. What took two years about this game? The, yeah, the I feel like packages. they probably had it. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like they had it ready in a month, and they're just like, all right, just time to wait. Just time to wait. Got to milk Black they're Ops. Like, try- exactly. They're just going to milk all the money out of Black Ops and then upload this new terror bad game, which everybody's going to hate. The only good thing they did in Modern Warfare 3 was Specialist. I like Specialist. I like Specialist, but I don't like the strike packages. Yeah, the strike packages are kind of lame. Support, I don't like support. The support, oh. the welfare kill streaks. No, so bad. It's like why do why like I even call it the stealth bomber, the no skill multi kill because you don't have to have any talent to get it, and it gives you a no, free multi kill. Yeah, because like I can spend what I don't know a minute trying to work my way to get a payload, twelve kills without dying, boom, done, and it gets it shot. Gets yeah, <laughs> yeah, it gets shot down in like two seconds, and then this guy over here can get twelve kills and die as many times as he wants, and then he gets 
uh, like a thing that wipes out half the map. I'm just like scratching my head, and I'm like, oh, how does that make any sense? It doesn't. It's so bad. Uh, dude, th- th- they they need to take off that fucking like five second thing. I mean, oh yeah, the five second uh, protection. Yeah, or whatever. like the Osprey gun would be way better if they could do it. Yeah, it'd be like chopper gun. I like that about Modern Warfare too. Like maybe if they put like a, I don't know, like a extra, a little bit extra health or something. I don't know. Like they need a little bit of spawn protection, maybe like a second or second nothing? and a half. How about the fact about that nothing? somebody could drop seventeen kills on your bitch ass? You deserve to get raped. That's true. That that is also true too. I would rather it have nothing than have a spawn protection like in Modern Warfare Two. I like that because now like AC one thirties blow. You can get like five kills with it and you're done. Yeah, it's like five kills. That's the same as the stealth bomber. I mean, you don't always yeah. get five kills with the stealth bomber. It's guaranteed two to three. Exactly. Like I've seen people on the bottom. Like I think I've seen them like twelve kills and thirty deaths, and then they get like an instant three or four kills. And I'm like, that, that just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make EMP's any sense. overpowered too. It needs to be like a like a fucking twenty eight uh, kill streak. Yeah, you have no idea. I was playing, I was trying to get 100 plus kills and uh, using the assault package, and the enemy called three EMPs in one game. Shh, just like, like, I don't even understand that. That's three whole minutes where I can't call in my attack copters. Yeah, it's three whole minutes. You have no idea where the enemy team's at. <laughs> yeah, and then that's the only way you can counter that is if you start out with, with Assassin, and Assassin's overpowered, and everybody hates you if you use it. So I don't want to do that because people get mad at me, and then like... I don't want to use specialist because it's overused. And like, uh, assassin steady ain't pros a really dangerous combo because it pretty much gives you quick draw. Yeah, exactly. I it's uh, everything in that game is unbalanced <laughs> and weird. I'm almost like tempted to just not play it anymore. Uh, I would I wouldn't go that far because I know. I know Medal of Honor is about to drop, which I'm gonna be buying the shit out of that just for the single player. Really? I don't know. I, I actually like Medal of Honor, and I knew like one of them was really competitive on the PC. But uh, the recent one felt a lot like Battlefield to me. It's because Call of Duty Dice made it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah. I don't really. I'm not. I like the the new Medal of Honor mainly because it's single player. It's such, it's such a great single player. The multiplayer sucked ass because it was all snipers, and it it just it always felt like you got cheated out of a kill or you you just died instantly. I can't stand the feeling of dying instantly and. That's one thing Modern Warfare 3 does a lot to me, mainly because of lag compensation. But uh, hopefully the next Metal Honor will be better. But yeah, I'm hoping so too. At least then I could probably squeeze a you could probably squeeze a month out of it, <laughs> or at least a week. Yeah, <laughs> they just I just want something fun, like a new first person shooter. Because I don't like going back and like you know playing. Like I do like going back and playing the older Call of Duties because it's fun. But I've just been playing them so long. I just kind of want something new that I can have fun with. I want a different game every six months. Same here. Like, why don't why don't they have... Like, right now, somebody could have this part of the year every year. Call of Duty lasts about six months. In March, they yeah, drop one another is, game uh, that's almost like Call of Duty, but different. Boom. And I carry right into the next, next Call of Duty. Yeah, see, I could live with that for sure. I mean, this game... I don't know. The other Call of Duty has had a lot longer... Um, a lot longer shelf life for me. Like, I could play Modern Warfare 2 for, like... I could still play it to this day since it came out. I enjoyed it that much. Black Ops, I could play it for about a year. I, this game, after four months, I'm already, like, I'm done. All right, one last question, because you know this is a surprise duel commentary. But, um... What? <laughs> this is our duel. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but, um... Last question I had for you is, um, what do you feel about enemies popping in Modern Warfare 3 versus the other installations? What do you mean, like, enemies popping? Like, like, in Modern Warfare 3, there seems to be, like, a haze in the back of the battlefield, like, where enemies just kind of blend into it. Like, they almost have camouflage. Where, oh, I, I hate where, that. Whereas in, like, Call of Duty 4, if so you've seen something across the screen, you automatically knew what it was. I definitely would go with the Call of Duty 4 way. I don't like how it is now because everybody... It, it seems like I'm, I'm always like, man, that guy's, like, blending in. I couldn't even see him, you know? I liked it back how it was in Call of Duty 4 where everybody stuck out. Unless you were a sniper, then that makes sense. You should have camouflage. But if you're not a sniper, then you shouldn't be blending in at all. All right. I lied to you. I have one more question. What the hell does TBNR stand for? <laughs> it stands for the best never rest. The best never rest frags. And frags like fragmentation grenade? Yeah, it really, the name didn't make sense when I made it. A year, I made this channel like a year, year and a half ago. 
And I just made it for the for fun, and now I'm like, oh, if I could, I would change the name for sure. Oh yeah, I mean, my name uh, actually came from just something I put in to watch YouTube videos and like them. <laughs> really? Is this where Wing of, Wings of Redemption came from? Yeah, I, I was like, like what, need username? I don't know. Wings of fucking Redemption. Bloom. It's it's three years later till I started my YouTube channel putting videos on it. That's awesome. <laughs> I feel like most of the names nowadays most YouTubers have are just like random. Like, they didn't really mean to make them. Yeah, look at Hutch. Hutch is a good example. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, Chris <laughs> Moo's a better example. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is it? There's so many numbers, I don't even remember. I just type in Smooth, and I'm good to go. All right, it's TB in our frags. He does unique Moabs. He's a PC-only player. Well, he's an Xbox player, too. And uh, if you want him, you can check his uh, channel in the annotation or the description of this video. And stay tuned for Painkiller Ready tonight. Peace.